We're live? What? Are we no, live? on my phone. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Hello. It's been a long time. Sorry, I look like it. <laughs> okay, so we are back. We came on here as per my post, I think, week and a half ago. I promised my patrons that we're going to come back and do the chats. And me and Joey, we had issues. We did record a video. We didn't like it. And we wanted your advice on or inspiration on what to do. One of the things that Joey and I did, we asked people on Instagram. I think you did it on your community too. And mm -hmm. Patreon, to answer a question, when intuition told you to leave the situation and now you realize why. So we wanted to kind of tell people stories uh, anonymously. And I think it's interesting to hear. I got like four or three replies and some people were really straight to the point. And I felt like we needed details to tell the story, you know, for it to be more colorful or more impactful. Mm -hmm. And we're just back to ground zero thinking what to do. I'm going to read the stories that people people shared. Yeah, well, I, I got a question, though. So I forgot that that's what we we're doing. So I got a question from um, someone on the community. But we maybe might do that another day. But yeah, I didn't get, I got one email from a lady. <laughs> she didn't really understand the, what I was asking. <laughs> she asked other things. So um, yeah, I got nobody for the stories, but I'm really interested in hearing what you have though. Okay, so I'm just going to read it out. Uh, me and Joey were just kind of trying to settle for what we want to do. So any ideas are welcome. Mm -hmm. So one person said, Reminding you the topic when intuition told you to leave the situation and now you realize why. I'm glad I listened to my gut. My intuition told me to leave my corporate job on 8 slash 8 back in June. I followed the strong gut feeling I had and it, not, it only felt right. I began my own spiritual healing business and almost exactly a month later in September found out I was pregnant have had really bad nausea, fatigue, and sickness, and needed the freedom to be still and nurture myself with no high demands of the corporate world. The universe was preparing me to bear my child fully and surrender to the feminine energy. But do Love how she listened to her gut. I love that, though, that there's, like, ten of pentacles, but in the other way, like, a complete turnaround. I love that story. Yeah. Okay, second one. I didn't listen to my gut, but this time I learned the reason and I just quit my job today. Hopefully I can find and get a new job soon. After I told my boss I quit, my body felt weird. My breath is more lighter, just like vapor. I don't know how to explain it. So your body always speaks to you. So I think she's going to be much better off. That is actually weird. I noticed now people were leaving their jobs and now... Me and Brigitte are noticing that people are now having things happen with their health or relationships oh, yeah. stuff. Yeah. I'm noticing so many marriages and romantic relationships going through real big tests at the minute. So it's like that was the shift I noticed before was the career, leaving a career. Now it seems like people are leaving relationships or having things happen within the relationship. For the past three weeks, <clears throat> the what what's happening body wise you're being shown your weaknesses or your body showing you what to do for example you i don't know injure your leg stop and process life or something mm -hmm. has to be reorganized because you cannot move around you cannot distract yourself you have to face yourself so it's important to pay attention to that let me see there is one more i think so <laughs> this girl said Mm, hello to her if she's here <laughs> my intuition years ago told me to leave my ex i needed extra confirmation though so i asked for more signs right at that moment an owl almost hit my ex's front window of his car <laughs> imagine that it was at my direction anyways after that as i talked to my childhood friend about him since we all are family friends we put pieces together and realized how much more lies he was hiding and how toxic he is and his twin brother where and she goes i have another story to share i love that 
Um, this one is a brief one though. Back in China, when I was eight, I bumped into a man that was cycling his carriage. As I walked further, my intuition told me to look behind and we held eye contact. At that moment, I told myself to run and turns out he did have the intention to chase me. I ran to a shop at a market where I often window shopped at window shopped at and the dude was waiting for me for a while. Damn. I'm glad she's My still God. there. She That was actually, there. that actually brought me back to a time <clears throat> whenever I was younger, like this is college days <clears throat> and it was actually Halloween. I don't know if I've ever shared this story. It was a really bad night. So I was, I was drinking and first thing was I knew that I probably shouldn't drink on that night um, because just the people that I was going to be around, I was like, mm, this doesn't feel like going to be a really good night feels like it's something's going to happen um turned out that they basically had us with this group of people and my drink got spiked but I don't know back then what the spiking was it was like something that didn't last very long it just made me really droopy and sloppy and whatever and then it just kind of wore off really quickly after I, well I say it did but I don't know but that my intuition was like the whole time just don't go to this with these people don't get involved with them um and there's like a double take on this because it happened again <laughs> it's like the biggest lesson so after that i was sitting outside but i was locked outside my house because i didn't have keys and i was dressed up i forget what i was wearing actually this was like probably like 10 years ago now no it was, i will actually 29 so it was about 19. Yeah, so it was. Um, but I can't remember what I was wearing. But I remember the guy that came up to me um, was wearing like a Spider-Man thing. And then there was a couple that came as well. And I think it was funny because he was wearing a Batman thing. So basically, I w my intuition told me, don't go to the top of that street. But for some reason, I went. I was like, I, was like, I shouldn't keep going. I shouldn't keep going. And I, I went up. And because I was drinking, I was like, I'm going to go this way. Like, it looks dodge, but I'm going to keep going. And I went that way anyway. Spider-Man came and attacked me. <laughs> I tried to take, took my money, but tried to get my phone. My phone smashed. Then I was just like, I was like, had to kick him off or whatever. And then this couple, Batman, came to the rescue. Did I ever tell you the story? I don't think you did. No. <laughs> it was such a, a stupidest night ever. But like... I feel like I get these messages all like these gut feelings all the time and I ignore them a lot of the time oh, and then yeah. and then shit happens and I'm like do you remember how okay so me and Joe we used to live together and um, we were re-renting based we were not the re-renters but our landlord was re-renting the flat so basically the money that we were given her she had to pay to someone else and one day I came after work, um, I came back home after work and I'm with two bags of groceries and I'm super tired and my attention is being drawn to the post box and I'm like, okay, let me check it out. Bear in mind any post that I, um, I got, I put it in like, um, in a box, anything that was hers and we never really opened it. But that day, I had these two bags literally on my wrist looking at that envelope and I'm like, I gotta open this letter and I must open this letter. I didn't even wait until I opened the door to the flat. It was like, I think first floor, Joe, was the first floor or second. Yeah, it was a, no, it's first floor because 11. First was floor, yeah. yeah. 11. <laughs> so <laughs> yeah, <laughs> more karma. <laughs> So I don't even get to the door. I'm opening, ripping that letter, and um, and I looked at it, and that was an eviction notice. So what we found out that day, thank fuck, listening to my gut, is that uh, we are being evicted because this woman that we're sending money to, she never paid that money to someone that she had to pay that money. You forgot about one thing though. Remember, in probably remember December. So <laughs> whenever <laughs> we were. It was Christmas coming around up to clip Christmas or something. And we were like, you know, sitting, drinking wine, doing tarot. And we pulled tarot for, I don't know why we were pulling tarot for moving. And it yeah. said, March, you got to get out before March. And we were like, 
I think there was a tower card there. There was a lot of like, yeah. I remember we were like, cheers, taking it as like it was this Let's, big joke. Yeah, we're like, oh, we don't think that we're going to move out that fast because we thought we we're going to stay there for much longer. It wasn't even the year. <laughs> After yeah. we called car literally it said March, we had to we we had to get out of the beginning of March. I just remember the two of us like looking at each other when we were getting the tarot card and stuff and we're like, <laughs> so funny. <laughs> Let's see what the future holds. <laughs> oh it was like that was if I ever can explain the tarot card to people, that is it because it's like you cannot control this. It's the one time. No, no. That was it's the mess. one it's the one time where I, I just remember, like, we've, we've seen it there, but we forgot about it. But then it really registered back when everything was happening in real time. It was like, do you remember December? <laughs> when <you laughs> oh, my God. That was fun. So don't think um, mm -hmm. every topic that we talk about, YouTube is ready for. It They might ban it. They may do, what you know. You know how YouTube is. And we yeah. this is unfiltered chats that we're going to be having. So we might talk about sensitive topics. We might use words that YouTube does not like. Um, so I think maybe we're going to post this on YouTube to get more maybe suggestions. But whoever wants the unfiltered stuff, go to background platforms. If something will be really beneficial for majority of the tribe and it's not going to be too... I don't know, sassy or too sensitive, we might post it um, on on YouTube. I talked about my community. I'm going to probably put it there. But I wanted something more private um, anyway. Because um, otherwise it's like such a waste. I'm just letting it sit there and I'm not really doing anything with it. Yeah. So this is a good start. So I, I, I agree. Yeah, we, actually, I think it'd be a good idea to maybe share stories and stuff like as an intro and then the deeper stuff, like the actual questions that people have that are kind of more sensitive, we could leave that for the uncensored. Okay, so <clears throat> thanks for watching this. We didn't want to keep this for too long. We just wanted to say hi and what's going on and drop your suggestions below. Is it a story time that you want to see? Is it... I don't know, um, questions that you have or anything you want to share. Or okay. if anybody has like any idea, like I see a lot of people having like little segments. Mm -hmm. So there's loads that I have in my head that I find funny. Like I'm going to give a really generic, silly one. Like, would you rather and having like something, <laughs> would you rather a twin flame or whatever, whatever anybody wants. Yeah, would you rather a uh, twin flame or karmic? <laughs> same it's thing. The same it? thing. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, bye. Yeah. Bye. <laughs> bye, YouTube. <laughs>